What's up and welcome back to the channel. It has definitely been a minute here. So life has definitely caught up to me and have been falling behind here on videos. Um, but finally I got a couple minutes here to spare and got some cars that I really want to open. So recently got the latest release of the Hot Wheels Elite 64, which is the Pandem Datsun 280Z with the Hot Wheels kind of racing team style logo on there. So this is car number nine. Um, I believe, was it this week that the old Bugatti launched? So that is car number 10. I did not pick that one up, but this is one that I was pretty excited about. And I think we ordered this quite a while ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but you got your uh, normal Elite 64 details here. I do really like all the card art. You have all the information about the car. You have the front and back window. And this did come in a Hot Wheels Protecto, um, but I took it out just for filming purposes. Um, I believe these are the only two other Elite 64s I have. So this was the custom Mustang. This has the removable hood with the big twin turbo V8 motor in there. So this one is pretty cool. And then we have the, just the Liberty Walk. Yes, the Liberty Walk Lamborghini Aventador. And this one has all the removable parts here in the back. So I believe the wing. I have actually haven't looked at this car in quite a while. So I can't really remember. There we go. Yeah, that comes off. So another twin turbo, but this. The Aventador is the V12. Um, and then this rear uh, deck lid comes off too to expose the engine. Uh, but yeah, I think these are the only, trying to think back now, I think these are the only ones that I have so far. Um, but today we will be cracking this open and adding a third. And we also have a little mail call from my buddy over at Strictly Diecast. So I've been meaning to crack it open and uh, yeah, today is gonna be the day. So we'll crack this open and then get to the mail call. So unlike all of my RLCs, uh, like I have this one right here, most of my RLCs I do keep carded, uh, but these Elite 64s, I have been cracking them open. I have been trying to save uh, the card and stuff. Uh, this one doesn't seem like it's gonna open up too well here. Yeah, not really too good at all. So I, I don't know. I'm still like a little, little mixed feelings on the Elite 64. Uh, I wouldn't say in my book it's been like a huge success or something that I've like really been excited about. Uh, this one is interesting too because it doesn't ha have like any like moving parts. So a lot of the other ones have like all the moving or removable parts, and this is just the plain. Dotson. Let's kind of do a quick, quick look at the car. Do a little QC check here. I don't think I've seen anything negative about this one, which is good. So tail lights look nice. And I believe uh, I'll get some close-up shots of it on the ground, but I think the tires actually have a little bit of camber, like fixed into the car. So let's see if I can. It's kind of hard to tell. You'll hopefully be able to tell when I set it down on the ground, do a little close up. Uh, but this one is very nice. And all of these, you know, in typical Hot Wheels fashion, roll just fine, which is great. Yeah, this one is really cool. I know my dad uh, came over the other day and kind of scoping out the Hot Wheels room, and he really liked this one. And I think it's still available. Um, actually, wonder, wonder if he went and picked one up. But this one, very, very nice. So let's go down and get some close-up looks. All right, get a little close-up look here of the Datsun Elite 64 here. The other car is there in the background and this thing definitely does not disappoint. Super, super cool. I know sometimes like, was it the Shadow Flame Skyline with the Hot Wheels logo? That was like kind of a turn off for some people, but I honestly don't mind this one at all. I think it looks very well done. It just looks super good on the car. 
And like I said, I think this has like built in cam uh, camber. So I'm trying to kind of get close up here. Uh, so yeah, I think from this angle, you can definitely, definitely tell that the tires definitely have a little camber going on. Looks really, really good. A little close up shot here from the rear. But yeah, this car is super, super clean. Just stanced really, really well. So I don't know if you can kind of see the camber. Yeah, I feel like this angle right here, you can definitely see the camber there, especially with the little Nissan logos back there. That looks super cool. Very, very nice. And next up here, like I said, we have a little mail call here from Jake over at Strictly Diecast. Let's see if I can get his sticker to stay up over there. I might do a little limited run of my channel stickers and try to do that kind of hollow foil. It's pretty cool. Um, so let's see what Jake has in store for us. I know uh, he was interested in setting some cars in for the drag race series, which a lot of you uh, showed interest in. Um, so I might have to do a, another, like maybe a community post and um, just kind of like really get some tally of everyone who's interested, but he did send along a little note. So let's see, Chris, what's going on, bro? Hope all is well with you and your family. This random act of kindness is my way of saying thank you for your friendship and support of my channel, which of course, go check out Strictly Diecast. He's creeping up on the 1000 subs mark. So go help out a buddy. Uh, inside you'll find some card stuff that hopefully you don't have and a race entry, very, very cool. Along with a custom that I'm sure you'll approve of. Stay safe out there and happy hunting. Um, so I did win a um, giveaway, a, like a random, he just did a random giveaway on his channel. Oh yeah. And that of course is right on top. Look at this. So as you know, here on the channel, Furiously Collecting, huge fan of Fast and Furious and just that 2000s era of cars. And also a big fan of like Need for Speed Underground, all those racing games. And dude, he captured it big time with this car. So, I mean, if you know what I'm talking about, like Need for Speed Underground, Need for Speed Underground 2, I mean, this car looks straight out of the video game. Oh, that graphic on the side is so cool. Um, yeah, so I told him I, I did want to crack this. I actually wanted to put it over here in my spoon diorama and maybe have it take the place of that Civic. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence if I want to crack it open. Maybe, maybe I'll do a different video or a short or something. Um, I might talk to him again and see. I don't know, oh, it even has, oh yeah, graphics on. It's kind of hard to see, but there is look, uh, some sponsors or graphics there on the hood, which are not on the normal car. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it has detailed exhaust and his channel sticker down there. Dude, this is super cool. I think I am gonna have to crack this open just because I want to be able to see it close up. Uh, I might not do it right now, but oh man, that is super tempting. So very good job on this, that is super cool. Oh, I wanna, don't wanna block the sticker there. All right, let's see what else. I'm curious what car will be the race entry RP. Ooh, this one's super cool. The Datsun Bluebird Wagon. Oh yes, and this is the Silver Series. So it has the metal base, I believe. Definitely some good weight. This one's super cool. I do not have this one. Uh, my Walmarts in my area, which usually have like a lot of these Silver uh, Silver Series and the like Fast and Furious Series and Boulevard is always just empty. So like I don't see many of these at all. So this is definitely a good one to have. Okay, and yes, he definitely did specify for the race entry. So he's gonna go for the yellow 911 Carrera RS. This is definitely a very cool Porsche casting. So we'll set that one off to the side. And a couple other, I think this was from the random giveaway that he did. So these are two reds I don't have. That Chevy C10 is super cool. You can see the red logo there by the tailgate, then the DeLorean, it's an Alpha 5, and that truck is super cool. Got the big cow hood. 
yeah, super neat. So these will be going uh, in my loose reds collection for sure. So I'm actually gonna be sending him a box too. And I said, I actually need to open his first cause I need some of his packing materials. Uh, cause I'm running low, but dude, heck yes. So huge BMW fan. Oh, this one is super cool. I have not seen this one yet. Let's see what case is this from G case? Dude, heck yeah. The M3 wagon. Dude, this is super cool. That color combo, the blue with the white wheels and the M tricolor. Dude, thank you so much. Heck yeah. Super excited. This one, definitely gonna be cracking this one open. Oh, dang, so it actually was a, another red here. So I don't know if that was, if that was on purpose or not, but this one is super cool. So not mad about that at all. And we have the Matchbox Porsche 911 GT3. I believe I do have this one. This, like the picture looks like it's just like a normal white, but it's kind of like a stone white, or I don't know, just, it's a little bit darker when you hold it up to um, other white cars, but this Porsche GT3 casting is super, super good. So there's a bunch of different colors of this. Um, they're kind of hard to track down. I think there's a lot of like multi-pack stuff, um, but it's a super nice cast. And apparently, there is something else in here that I don't know what it is. So I thought, I thought that was the thing that I want in there for, I thought that's what he's talking about for the custom in his letter, but there is something else. Okay, so I kind of got a little sneak peek of it here uh, and already super, super, super excited about this. Holy crap, dude. Can I turn it upside down? I don't want it to like, oh yeah. Dude, this is insane. Oh, I love this goes so perfect with this M3 wagon. Oh, that's super cool. So the liquid Molly livery on there with the E30 M3. Dude, those wheels look killer. Um, see, I could probably, okay. I was able to get the cover off so you can get a little closer. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna have to hit him up on this. I wonder, I don't know if he did all the graphics and everything on here too, or just some wheels. So you can see the painted seats, painted roll cage, and then on the underside, it's got his logo and the painted exhaust, and then plus like a custom exhaust tip there in the back. Yeah, so he definitely, I'm pretty sure he added those taillights and stuff back there too. Dang, this looks super, super clean. I'm actually not, I mean, I have a ton of these E30 castings and this does not look familiar, like livery wise. So this must all be custom, but dang, dude, that looks super, super good. So this will go in a display case for sure. So big shout out to Jake over at Strictly Diecast. He's really been stepping up his custom game I mean, yeah, this definitely makes me want to crack open that Civic too, but dang, I mean, look, just look at the comparison here between the Hot Wheels Elite 64 and Strictly Diecast Custom. I mean, does not get much better than that? Be a big shout out and very much appreciated. This is super, super cool. I will definitely be getting your package out here shortly. Now I got a little extra packing material here, but very much appreciated. All right, well, I feel like I honestly kind of forgot about even unboxing the Elite 64. So I got so caught up with uh, Strictly Diecast in his little package with the customs. I kind of kind of forgot all about the Elite 64. Um, so that's definitely saying something, but definitely don't want to take away too much here from this Elite 64 Dotson Z it was super cool, um, but Super awesome video here, I think. Uh, very excited to add these few cars here to the collection. And once again, big shout out to Strictly Diecast. And thank you all for stopping by and watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.